I never know how to start these things. <laughs> uh, me neither. You'd think by now we would. But How uh, many episodes are we in? We are on 33. Eh, we'll just go with 34. it, maybe. 33 or 34. I don't know. But um, how are you doing today? Good. Um, actually, still waking up a little. It was a rough night. We had, um, you know, we have Jagger on a pretty good schedule now, and he's sleeping through the night. But, of course, when the <laughs> babies are on a good schedule, <laughs> guess who comes out to play? Mr. Nick. And it's so funny because it's true. Poppy slept through the night. Jagger was doing four, five hour stretches. Perfect. Like not even like when he woke up, it wasn't like a scream. He just was like mur, 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 milk. And like, that was it. Um, All of a sudden I'm in deep. I'm in, <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for the silver string to pull me back out of this dream, the silver cord. And all of a sudden I hear like literally, oh, poor buddy. Right outside, my man, we had some beautiful weather this past week, so he loves being outside, but it was so much, <coughs> so much pollen. And, and our boy has allergies. He's got bad allergies, so <laughs> I think it just caught up with him, and he just could not stop itching, hot spots everywhere. But what's weird is he has no hives. Normally, he gets the hives, yeah. so like we haven't really like noticed much, but then I saw his little, this area on him it was just bright red, and I was like, Josh, and we're giving him his Apoquil, we give him his allergy medicine, but I think it's time for the, the big stuff, usually, Benadryl. Yeah. Prednisone. Well, once a year during this time, he usually gets a cytopoint injection, which really helps him. It's like a steroid. Um, so we'll have to navigate that. And uh, we actually, I had a half of a prednisone left over from the last time he had a little breakout episode like this that seemed to help uh, taper him down a little bit. So we got him situated. Um, I felt bad. We I, rescued him five years ago. We rescued him five years ago yesterday. Crazy. Um, he's such a sweet boy. But I think I do need to more regularly... Uh, groom get him groomed because he's just been shedding like crazy and mm -hmm. uh, I think that's irritating him so I have a call tomorrow to get him groomed I'm glad um, I'm sure they really love that they, they needed to know that that you're gonna call the groomer tomorrow well people are interested <laughs> so but and, um and getting on that topic because that was just like they're gonna be like Abby such a b-word she's so mean oh my god so Kelly Ripa and her husband are now doing that morning show Ryan Seacrest is no longer there I what? don't know with the show. I don't know. I don't know their show. American Idol? <laughs> no, not American Idol. They had their own morning show, Kelly Ripa and Ryan Seacrest. I don't know what it was called. Ma Kelly and Ryan. I think that's what it was called. Or Ryan and Kelly. Good morning, America. I don't think. I don't know. Good morning, Good morning. Kelly and Ryan was their show. Okay. Seacrest left. So Kelly and her husband just did their first debut episode like this week or something. And I saw it all over Twitter. People are, there's literally a petition to like not have them, to not them be guest or um, co-host anymore oh, why? because they said it was so bad because Kelly kept interrupting her husband. Mm. Mm. Well, it's a common thing for that. And, and you know what? I'm team Kelly because that is kind of what you just do in a relationship. You just interrupt your partner and you know, it takes time to get that flow down. And like, I, it's, I think it would be different. Like if, you and your boy, like it was, you well, had Well, we've been together for like eight years and you still haven't got the flow down. No. <laughs> so how much more time? No, I'm just saying like, I can interrupt you and it's okay. But like, I get where the audience Okay with watching. who? <laughs> it's okay with me. <laughs> <laughs> and I see how the audience watching would be like, oh my God, there, that's weird, awkward tension. No, that's just being married. That's just having- Or is it awkward tension? <laughs> if you make it awkward tension. But I don't know. I just, I was like, I relate. I read the article and I was like, you know what? I wouldn't sign that petition because it's okay to interrupt your partner. It's okay because if it was like you and your best friend sitting down here, you guys would be interrupting each other, but it would be fine. But why is it when it's your significant other, it's not okay? I'm not sure, but <laughs> I don't know where this is going. I don't know. Maybe it's just me trying to justify my interruptions. It could be. Um, That's definitely it. But anywho. Do you um, have no, no feelings on it? I thought you were going to give more into it. No. See, this is why maybe we're not good partners. Maybe we're not good co-hosts. No, I thought, do you want to explain uh, this new feature you have in between your eyes for everyone? You know, oh, now you're being mean. Oh, maybe I'll be a little mean this episode. This is my karma because I called you Rudolph like a couple episodes ago because he had a big blind pimple on his nose. Who's your and new now little friend? I have one your new little friend. right in between my eyes. And it's because, so it's sunny out. I'm not a sunglasses person. Like, it's really not my thing. You look so weird in sunglasses. I do. I really do. Yeah, it's they just not, like don't fit your face. They don't. Um, now I hope we're how Sorry, many episodes in and your phone's not on silent? Oh, uh, this might be important. We might have to take five. <laughs> um, but I hope people call you out. That was rude. Like, I, Sorry, the what? thing is like, people be like, oh my God, Josh, like that was such like, 
if I said that to you, if I said you looked bad in sunglasses, all the comments would be, and guys, to be honest, I don't read comments. This dude screenshots every mean comment and sends them to me. Now, here's the thing, though. And he goes, my stands, here's my stands. <laughs> I'm joking this whole time. I have a very dry sense of humor. So am I. I don't think you are. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to the sunglasses. Um, I'm not a sunglasses gal. And I had a pair from when we were in LA last year. But what's I, weird is you look hot in glasses. Like teacher glasses. Okay, okay, that's just a fetish you have. So let's just get over that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is, let me finish my Am story. Am I going to detention? Josh, what? stop. Sorry. Oh my God. All right, sorry. <laughs> anyway, long story short, my glasses were not clean. There was still makeup on them from last year. I was lazy. I looked at it and saw, oh, that's fine. And wore them all day. And, you know, I'm sure there was a ton of bacteria on them. And that's what happened. Literally the next day, big blind pimple right between where the dirt was on my sunglasses. So um, moral of this story is wash your sunglasses, clean them because it's, it's pretty gross. Yeah. Um, yeah, so <laughs> where are we going with this? I don't know. Um, I feel so bad. Like what? That, I, what? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, okay. You felt bad for what? My pimple? It's normal. People get acne. I wouldn't know. You get acne all the time. For th being 33, you have acne. I'm active. Yeah. I'm an active dad. I think it's more of, um your facial hair clogging your pores well what it is my body because i live such a this active healthy lifestyle my body's trying to revert its age yet my <laughs> skin gets clogged because i'm at the age now i should be getting a beard 33 years old and i think it's it's the combatantness what are you gonna do when jagger gets a beard at like 12 <laughs> you know jagger's him. gonna be the one with the mustache at like 12 I'm years just, old I, it's gonna come i've been using this coffee scrub too to <laughs> kind of stimulate it it has yeah. come in more yeah we talked about noticed. that last episode um I feel like my complexion's really improved in the last six months. So. You look great. You're handsome. Beautiful. I appreciate that. Thank you very Your much. Your hair is thriving. Your face is thriving. Yeah. You are beautiful. You're the best husband on the planet. Wow. And <laughs> if you can hear, there's little feet just running above us. Um, yeah, you're just the best. Is that sincere? Very. Wow. Well, you heard it here. So let's get into today's episode. We're going to talk about influencers. Um, before I... We're influencers. It's still weird to say, but that's kind of what we are. Or we're on social media. We influence people on social media, I guess, right? How did I guess that's how they came up with the word influencer. You influence, influence people with your way of life. Yeah. Um, I knew nothing about it before three years ago. I mean, I knew of influencers in the modeling world because they started hiring models at, they started hiring influencers as models and I was like that's so weird I don't understand it like but now I I do I'm You're on in the, the world I'm on yeah. the side of it so um I thought I would just kind of dive deep I asked um our followers on Instagram um what are their assumptions of assumptions of influencers like true assumptions everything's going to be anonymous so like we're not going to say anyone's names but I just want to know like what do people think about influencers so let's just get into it are there outfluencers that they outfluence i don't know what that means i don't know you mean people that just don't influence on outstagram those are people that just probably don't have social media and probably live a very happy life hmm. <laughs> right well let's get into it <laughs> today's episode is brought to you by Milio photos You've heard us talk about Mylio Photos. It's the ultimate tool for protecting and organizing a lifetime of photos. If you're like me, I have thousands of pictures, especially of my sweet daughter and beautiful son that I want all in one place and I want it to be secure and protected. And gosh, have I had so many issues with the cloud, pictures being lost, not sure when a picture was taken or where it was taken. Well, with Mylio Photos, they've solved all of that. Rest assured, I can keep all of my photos in one place categorized into multiple different entities. If I wanna look up a place that maybe I've gone on a trip with my family, I can type that place in and boom, there's all the photos right in one place from that one vicinity. Say I have a picture of my grandfather and I want other pictures of him, I can literally put his face in and it will facial recognize him and all of his photos will pop up in one place. A cool feature about Mylio Photos is you can edit, delete, 
organized right within the app and it's live and it goes to all of your devices that you get Miley on. So when you make an edit or something on one device, it will then go to all your devices. So if you're working on your computer, phone, what have you, I can run over to my iPad and I know everything's gonna be right where I left off in the same secure place. You can practically search your photos by any keyword, a person, a date, a place, or any keyword. All of your files and photos remain private and safe. And that is the one awesome thing about Miley of Photos that separates them from the rest. I can rest assured that all of my stuff will be safe and protected. We know you love Miley of Photos too. And right now we've got a special limited time offer for our listeners. Get 25% off your first year of Miley of Photos when you sign up for the annual plan. To get 25% off your first year, go to mylio.com slash Herberts. That's M-Y-L-I-O dot com slash H-E-R-B-E-R-T-S today and receive 25% off your annual plan. Now back to our scheduled programming. Um, so the first assumption, first assumption, they fake all of their prank videos. No. <laughs> what? What? I said incorrect assumption. We, not all of them. Correct. But should we be honest about our content? In the no. big Do the next one. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, no, we're honest here. Uh, they may not be fake. They might be filmed a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's really hard to prank me. I mean, look at me. I'll be honest. Yes. I mean, 99.9% per .9 of TikTokers you're following that do pranks, they're all fake. Well, I, I hate saying fake. We're actors. And <laughs> what we're doing is we're providing entertainment for our viewers uh, with our talent of acting, and that's where I come into play. Um, yeah, necessarily all the pranks may not be um, on the spot. They may be staged in a way, but uh, at the end of the day, it's acting. And <laughs> I'm providing entertainment, fun, joy uh, for our followers. And if you don't like it, I would say in the like we don't really do pranks anymore. I think content has changed. In 2020, it mm -hmm. was all pranks, and that's what everyone was doing. And I think for us, like I would be like Josh, here's this video. There's this prank I'm gonna do, and then go from there. Like his reaction, Josh is really good on the spot and his humor. So that's kind of how it would work for us. But don't get me wrong, there were times where I was like, no, you got to do it again, redo. Redo. Yeah, and that's fine. You know, but end scene. Like cut. Josh said, it's kind of like we were making a little movie. <laughs> it's acting, yeah. It's acting. Acting 101. But don't get me wrong. I'm sure there are genuine pranks out there. But just being on this side of it and knowing other creators, I'm going to be honest, 90% of them are all staged. Think of it this way. Abby and I are TikTok. Think of it as our show. Yeah. We have a show. That's what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> next assumption um next assumption um let's see they make tons of money for not doing a whole lot of work that assumption is wrong um see i think i've talked about this before way back before i was ever even thought of myself as an influencer or abby i would see these people living these lavish lives with these huge followings and be like they don't even do anything now being in that world, um, we don't live like a lavish, crazy life. Yeah, we're grateful, you know, for everything we have and we can, you know, afford, but it's a lot of work. It's nonstop. It's a lot of work, but it's easy work compared to some jobs out there. That's that could be to anything. That's anything. But it's again, it's what you put into it is what yeah. you get out. If you sit back yeah. and you just don't do any work, no editing, no content no vlogging uh no coming up with stuff video after video after video if you just sit back and you're like meh you're not gonna make any money so it's a constant it's, drive and i i want to say that's once again for any job you yeah. st you work at mcdonald's you start at being a cashier or you start at whatever if you put your heart into it and you put your time into it you work your way up you could be a manager you could then become a district manager you could be you know it's similar it can in, be anything in this any regard job. it's similar to any job if you show up to your job for however you get paid, whether it's salary or hour, hourly, if you show up, that's how you get paid and you, and you go. If you don't show up, you don't get paid. Well, same thing in this world. If you don't show up, meaning if you don't create work and you don't work, you're not going to get paid. So yeah. it, it may seem on the other side like we don't do anything, but um, I, I, 
highly but we wouldn't uh, trade this for anything we no. love we love the content well we and make. it's like we in our wheelhouse like i always loved like video creating and yep. um i'm able to use my talent of acting which is phenomenal <laughs> um, i was in multimedia class uh actually got kicked out of it in seventh grade um wow. for taking inappropriate did i ever tell that story yeah you did inappropriate pictures yeah i'm not gonna get into it but they weren't inappropriate it was just like me like i had like a pad on my head one time or like yeah. you know yeah. I, w I had my boobs like and i was like yeah. Like that one, I really <laughs> did. But it's like because I didn't have boobs, or I used like the bulge filter. Oh yeah. And I put it on my butt. I was like, yeah. And I put yeah. it on Facebook, and someone printed them out, and um, the <laughs> principal was like, someone commented on. The, wait, one of my friends commented on. One of my guy friends commented on the photo of my butt, and was like, wow, big ass. And the principal was like, do you want to be represented like this? I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like uh, I wish. Uh, I wish I did have a big butt. Uh, like I thought you were like no. That's um, a so. And the teacher that kicked me out said I would never touch a computer in high school. Wow. And look at me now. Yeah. So <laughs> follow, follow your dreams. Never touch. Because I was in, I was in eighth grade and she said I would oh, never gotcha, be gotcha, in gotcha. multimedia okay. class and never touch a computer in high school. And that was my literally top class in wow. high school. Well. Um, so just, you know, follow your dreams. Yeah. Take butt pics on. <laughs> no, that's terrible. On school computer. Um, but yeah, like you said, any job. You have to work hard. Yep. You have it's to a put machine. The time what you in. put in is what you get out. Um. Okay. You act different around a camera. Well, it depends. It. Uh. You know. We got to look at the scene. Um. We got to look at the mood. Obviously, the plot, I the don't because people tell me that I'm just mean, and I feel like this is just me no, all the time. <laughs> no, we're we're pretty genuine. Um. Who we are in front of the camera is kind of who we are off the camera. I mean, my voice does change when I do a like. A partnership sometimes i'll well, be honest that well you know it's like yeah the, you're doing more of like a spokesmodel type thing where yeah. you go up a key which is yeah. totally normal yours but does yours does. i don't i get more uh so today you know yeah. I, I like kind of broadcasty yeah but um everything outside of vlogs are very scripted everything outside of vlogs maybe they mean in the vlog i don't know outside of vlogs like our content, maybe. No, I mean, Abby comes up with like the TikTok stuff, like if it's a dance, um, yeah. which those are so fun to do. Um, either those <laughs> or like, you know, whatever, like the pranking videos, um, videos with our, you know, Poppy or Jagger. But no, all of our uh, vlogging stuff, we kind of like, we'll be like, what are we doing today? And we kind of go with it. Like we actually should be a little more scripted in our vlogs. Like, yeah, our vlogs, we're not going to vlogging. The place. We need to get, it's a little tough right now to, to get everything we have a lot going on but um i think it's good to have some sort of like script or like you know what are kinda we like our podcast we have no script yeah kind of like this should. we probably should have some sort of script but um i think it's fun like that's it. just us yeah we wing it we go off tangent um off topic you know it's just crazy another assumption you get so much free pr yes yeah abby does i don't yes um i will be honest um, we got makeup hair care clothing jewelry um, I mean, so I mean, boxes, boxes on boxes. boxes, but one of my favorite things to do, um, because I, I genuinely use a lot of the product, but I physically can't use it all. I literally can't. I get a lot and a lot is repeated, um, which I'm so grateful for. And my favorite thing to do is have my family come over and my friends come over and have them go through everything and give them all my stuff. Like I, for Christmas, I gave all of my cousins, all my, my sister, my aunt and my mom bags and bags of uh, product for them to try. And honestly, it's like good for the brand as well, because my cousin tried a brand. She's like, I've never heard of this before, but it's my new favorite product. Yeah. So, I mean, in my mind, I'm like, it helps the brand that's sending it to me because it's still getting their name out there. Then my cousin can tell people, my friends can tell people, um, but uh, yeah, no, I really, there's not a lot that I can do with it and I, I can't do everything with it. So um, yeah, I don't know how it stops. They just send it. Like, it's not like I'm asking for it. Yeah. Um, I feel like sometimes like people ask like, what do you do for work? I feel like 90% of the time I'm breaking down cardboard boxes. We get a lot. And it's, it's <laughs> we honestly, I told Josh, I'm like, we should start a cardboard Recycle. recycling yeah. business from his mount and i i get these packages these pr packages oh. and i'm just like what we just, a waste yesterday what we just looked waste. at this like some of these pr packages whether it's for like makeup or something like just the amount of money they put into these crazy boxes inside the cardboard box to like open up that are like full of just like cutouts with the with the there makeup was a box, in it literally, it was this big box like this big it had a product this big in yeah. it in the middle 
And the, and I'm just like, I, I mean, it was a beautiful PR package, but my understanding, it, it was, yeah. Like you have to be, I'm just trying to think in the company standpoint, you have to be spending so much money on like boxes. Well, they have a budget for PR. That's, that's why they do it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, I'll be on. Yeah. We get a ton of PR. I, I do. Josh, you really any <laughs> Any companies looking to spread the word, you know, send it my way. And I way. always feel so bad because anytime a box comes, Josh is like, oh, is it for me? And well, it always says like, Josh and Abby. Yeah. So I'm always like, maybe this is for me. And then I look at the, it's like cosmetics. You did. Go, you got those shoes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you did get those shoes. Yeah. 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 Um, but I mean, I'm sure, I mean, I'll be honest. There was like one thing I've asked for. I'm like, oh, can I get this? There's... I lied. There's some things I asked for, but, um, yeah. And I always ask for a code and that's the next question is people don't ask for links. You just say they do. So there's reasons to post about them and make money like on your stories when you're yeah. like, I have so many people ask me for this link. So here it is. Yeah. Um, I've had like two DMS of like, Hey, can you link this? And then I get on my stories and be like, I'm getting a ton of DMS about this yeah. link. So maybe, but it's good for other people looking for the products now they have like a code. Yeah. And I don't make money off of every link. That's another thing people think. That's the whole thing about linking in Instagram, like affiliate, you get the money from yeah. doing a link. Like a commission. Commission, yeah. So if you do like like to know it, that's like, that was the biggest mind blowing thing to me when I became like, had a following and people asked for codes and links and like to know it is the most confusing platform to me um it took me a while to get the hang of it but once i did i started using it like there's influencers on there that are making seven figures on like to know it like og seven hmm. wow. seven figures like that is their income but that's the like og girls that like link everything and if you're listening to this and you know who i'm talking about they link everything and like that's their income um but for us that's not how we make money i just genuinely like sharing my products that i use and if i can link it if i can easily make a link whatever but like poppy's bed yeah. her toddler bed so many people asked about it and i don't make a commission on it i don't know how many people ordered if they did but the link click ex itself had like fifty thousand people click that link wow. which is nuts to me and i like being able to see that because to be honest it does help for when I want partnerships or I want brands, if I'm like, hey, like I want to work with this company and they want to see my analytics, I can show like, oh, this is how many link clicks, this is how many people purchase. So it does help to have that analytic side of it for a business. But like to me, just to see 50,000 people clicked a bed, a toddler bed. Can you link my Spotify account? I, I can link your Spotify. And I did remember I linked my playlist. Yeah. And well, it, like you should just link one oh, of my okay. songs. Well, and we'll see how Maybe many people it, yeah. click it. Yeah. I'm sure you'll get 50,000. It'll go viral. It will. I will link. So yeah, that's- on New Music Friday. That, that's the weird thing about about linking. Do you think you'll ever get on that New Music Friday? Well, you have to have new music. So could you just get on like a playlist? I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to put it out there that I'm not. I got to put it in You the, might. I mean, I you're on so. my playlist. I think I'll be on New Music Friday and one I'm day. And I'm almost on a viral. I'm almost viral. I have like 3,000 saves. Whoa. That's a lot. Whoa. More than you, More than yours. What? I don't have a playlist. Yeah, you do. Well, it's my personal. Playlist. Well, you only have two saves. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's only me and you. Well, <laughs> Make private. it public and see how many people save it. Fine. Let's I got to put more of my songs in it. <laughs> um, they think everyone cares about every little thing they do. For sure. <laughs> you have to. I mean. <laughs> um, And I think that's maybe why we struggle. I with, have to go poop. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to vlog it. Yeah. I've, I've, I have been an open book forever. So for me, I've always overshared. I had 8,000 followers and I was doing IG stories like, Hey guys, I know you're interested in this. Like no one yeah. cared. I would just but, hate to undershare in this world. Yeah. I mean, but then I, I'll be honest. I do think about like, there are people out there that don't share anything online. Must, is, is it nice? Uh, yeah, I was yeah. Gonna, I'm, um, I'm sure there's pros and cons to everything Abby I know I know and it's like I would never change this I love sharing I, even if I lost every single follower or no one cared I would still be posting still be sharing that's why I personally feel okay making the content I make a lot of there's people out there that see my content that don't like it that they don't follow it they think what I do is wrong they mm -hmm. think it's crazy or oversharing 
no matter what I would be making the videos, I would be posting what I post. So for me, that's why I'm okay with it in my mindset. But like, I wonder like the people out there that like don't have Instagram. I don't know because we're all on the even playing field as in, in 200 years, no one's going to remember any of us anyway. Well, that got real dark real <laughs> quick. That's not, <laughs> so. I, I wasn't going that dark. I was trying to stay positive. Like they must like, must, part of me wants to be able to maybe not have any social media whatsoever. Go off the grid. But then I would go nuts because I'm just like, this is me all day long. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. Like, not all again, day long, it's but. pros and cons, but I think there's more pros uh, than cons. I mean, I've, I've met some amazing people and I've been able to spread my message or, you know, just sharing our lives and helping other people. So I think it's, it's all in what you do with it True. Um, and how you consume it. Um, I've unfollowed different accounts and stuff that I just find a little bit too like aggressive for some in some regards and some subjects where I'm just like, wow, this is like really shoving one type of information down my, my brain. Yeah. Whereas like, I like to just be a little bit more open, follow like-minded people and just people that are putting out positivity and not really like bashing people because they do things a certain way. Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, it, it, it depends on the person, but I, because I am, as much as I put myself out there, I'm a pretty reserved person. I you like are. my space. Yeah, yeah. I like kind of being off the grid. But then there's that other side of me that likes being out there and likes being boisterous. It depends on the day. It depends on how I feel. You're so. kind of in the middle ground. You don't share nearly as much as I do. I don't. But again, to that regards, and I may be, this may be a blanket statement, but I feel like as a male influencer, it's a bit tougher to get across to my audience. Well, Is that no, true or no? No, well, you you're like you don't want to go in the dad space like i've kind of gone into mom yeah. world you don't want to be like you don't want your content to be all about being a dad no i think now you, it's like health fitness yes, um yeah. that's i take a lot of pride in that and i think that's kind of where if some if there's other guys or gentlemen following me i think they follow me probably because of that you know they might not know about my music as well <laughs> well i have music out there so but i think it's you know i think part of it is too i'm a dad and i'm like trying to stay trying to every day better myself i i think if you see someone's content online that you might not follow or agree with or do doesn't mean that you can't be like friends or you can't relate to them because i feel like a lot of people think like oh my god i share everything online so my my circle must be the same way and it's complete opposite one of my good friends all of my friends actually do not share their children online they do not post they do not if they my one good friend does if i post about her her face has to be covered and we're still great friends we're still we get along you know what i'm saying i feel like that's the biggest thing a lot of people are like um do you know what i'm trying to say i guess i, I, I mean know. if if yeah like with my friends like if you're not on page like i just i'm like oh, you're you're gone you know I was trying to like trying I'm to trying to get something out of my friends. <laughs> I was trying to have a serious conversation. I meant Sorry. like my humor is just too dry sometimes. Yeah. No, I get what you mean. Um, that's just I think it's healthy because if you think about it, even off social media, to have friends with different outlooks, different views, different backgrounds, yeah. I think is important, and I think that's what makes us human and makes us just connect with each other. If we're all the same, it would be like this way out. Yeah, it just <laughs> it'd be like I don't know. But it would be like uh those those boys out. I feel and like that would there. just blow up. I think it's healthy um to have different outlooks and have conversations and and um, I feel like I that's the important. biggest assumption about us. People are like you f you film and share your entire lives. We really don't. Yeah, it's just a snippet. Because we our friends, we don't post our friends. We barely post our family. Like, I think I mean yeah, we rarely we rarely show like the deep side but yeah. like I don't know that's that's what I was just trying to get at because so many people I feel like think that I live this crazy life and it's like no none of my friends like we don't talk about our social media with our friends and family we don't really like it's kind of just our job and then we we go home I like I forget that our stuff has now hit Facebook so meaning Josh's mom sees a lot of our stuff yeah. now because she didn't have like my mom's up to date on what we do but she now has seeing our old content she brings it up and I'm like this is so embarrassing <laughs> like I get embarrassed knowing that people like secondhand embarrassment watch and see our stuff see I used to now I just I, it's I'm, I'm numb at this just, point <laughs> I'm honestly numb I've well, done mom... I've done so many um uh, people may say the word cringe um, I just see it as fun. I'm having fun, but I, I'm numb to it now. Your it's mom crazy. brought up the TikTok. She goes, Josh, I saw the one 
uh, you wear a dress. You wear you yeah. wear that. Where you wear Abby dress. dress. And she's like, it was so funny because I thought she wasn't gonna think yeah. it was funny. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like I was like I don't even really remember that one, but oh my gosh, well, it's out there. Ah, uh, so a lot of I think it's fun. It's great. It's great. Um, that you guys don't use the products you promote. No, um, we use every single product we promote. We have to. Yeah. Because we have to figure out how it works and, and what it is. But no, I mean, uh, honestly, uh, if you're in this space, if you don't have some sort of sense of integrity um, or, you know, of course, there's things we haven't heard of. And they're like, hey, we'd like to work with you. And we're like, yeah, sure, we'll try it and, you know, promote it and, and see if we like it. And sometimes after the fact, like using it for a while or whatever have you, whatever product is, maybe it doesn't align with us. And so be it. But right off the bat, if it's a, a product or a company we kind of like know about and we don't align with, we uh, we don't take the deal no matter like how much money. Um, well, I'm just kidding. But, I, I've been reading these. Uh, <laughs> I didn't listen to anything you've no, been saying. <laughs> no, honestly, like um, there was a company, I'm not going to name the company that wanted to work with Abby, um, a clothing company that was kind of going through some backlash for how they- And I just didn't, I don't shop with them. I don't align with, with what they she do. She doesn't align with you know, their beliefs and everything. We It was a lot of money. It was we, more money than, uh, let's just say, job like i would make in a years of work or my parents have ever made like it was a good amount of money and as hard as as it to like say like no to that type of money because i'm just like wow that could change so much in you know our lives and our our family's lives or just anyone's lives that i was just like i can't work with them i can't promote them i can't sit here and say like because the thing is, when you take a brand deal, even though you love their products, there are requirements. There's things that you have to say in the video, or that you don't have like to legal say. legal requirements in a yes, way? Yes, yeah. there's things like, you have to be like, oh, I wear this, or I love this, or this is why I wear this, is why I love this product. And I didn't, I didn't like it, so I had to pass it up. And um, never in a, my lifetime did I think that that would be an opera, like that would be what I would be doing, but. And again, I said, Abby's not interested in this deal, but. You know, I'm open. To- <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. I'll take it off her hands. Um, no, you didn't. No. But uh, there there was one, a food company that I genuinely love. You what? Jo- you- the, the ice cream. Oh. That, that I genuinely love, but they didn't, they wanted it on Josh's feed and we were up front with on them. On my we, feet? Sorry, they, I'm just trying to oh, realign here. They wanted it on Josh's TikTok and we know Josh is healthy. He doesn't eat this. And I, we told the brand, we said, hey. Josh doesn't eat it. Abby does. Can can the video be around Abby eating it? And they were like, yeah. So like there's there's things like that that we do where it's like I like the brand. Josh doesn't eat it, but he took me there to eat it. So mm. <laughs> um, so there's things like that. But yeah, no, there's and there's hundreds and hundreds of people out there making content of stuff that they don't like and don't promote for the money. I'm sure. Like, yeah. And again, we try to have some sort of integrity, uh, but if the dollar amounts there, then who cares? That's not Sorry. something you should put out there because that no, could I'm get kidding. clipped. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And that is also another thing about social media. You say <laughs> one thing and it can be taken right True. out of context. True. Um, that you get everything for free. No, nothing in life's free. We get a lot for free. Like what? All the PR stuff. Well, that's like your PR, like makeup stuff, but that's about it. What else do you get for free? Um, I got those uh, tickets to the comedy show for free because I used my social media. I did. Wow. Well. That, and that's another thing. I've never done that before, but I was like, I really wanted to see this comedian perform and his tickets, were, he was sold out. So I'll, I used my, um, my following to get the tickets for free. Wow. But How do you feel? I feel okay because <laughs> I, I got, well, to- they have like, these people have like a list of tickets, like so many tickets they can give yeah, away. They're that, in a city it, they it don't was, know it was his t- Yeah, exactly. So I wasn't, it's taking, not taking away. I wasn't from taking it seats. from anyone, but I'll be honest, it, it did happen. And I was 37 weeks pregnant when I went to the show and, uh, the bouncer at the door was like, looked me up and down and it was so embarrassing. He was like, what did you do to get these tickets? How did you get on his list? Wow. As I'm like pregnant, I, I don't know if he was, in, what if I was just like, this is his baby. Oh, uh, you should Like, known. I don't know if that was that what he was assuming. I don't know. Because it was the way he like looked me up and down and was like, what did you do to get on this list? How'd you get these tickets? Wow. And I said, uh, uh, uh I have an Instagram following. That's what I said. That's all and I it did. was my comedy show. 
Okay, this episode is ending right here. <laughs> I have no idea what, what's wrong with you. Did you get the joke? No. Oh, because like you I got was, me pregnant? Yeah. Oh. Oh I my god. <laughs> is that what you wanted? I thought it was pretty witty. <laughs> Last assumption, like literally every single assumption is uh about influences are they're rich. Hell yeah. <laughs> no. Um I would say they're definitely there's how do you value rich? This is how I value it. Um, someone actually DM me this and I was like, wow, someone said, uh, I forget what it was, but it was something along the lines of like, you are the, you are the epitome of a rich man. You have mm -hmm. a son and a daughter. And I thought that was amazing. Cause if you think about how rich I get to experience having a son and having a daughter. Yeah. What, how, how much is more rich Jagger screaming? No. How much richer can you get? You know? I think that's, you know, well, there's different riches. There's riches with currency, mm -hmm. um, which is just this fake stuff that's floating in the air that goes into your bank account and accumulates. Yeah. And you're able to get these tangible objects with it and buy uh, uh, events and buy experiences um, with this tangible material things, material things uh, is one of them. Um, yes, it can make your life a little bit easier, happier in ways if you are a happy person before all that. But I think there's different types of riches. And yeah. I don't know if that's where they were getting no. at. but yeah, I, th I think, I mean, we've been very open in one of the first episodes we talked about how we went from not having any money to this career changing our lives where we are financially stable, financially able to buy a car, to buy have, some toys, to have two children, two children, build a home, build a home. Like, yes, we are financially better off than we were before social media, but we didn't really have jobs, before but we didn't have jobs. Media, so. We had no money. And yes. So for us, Yes, social media has, but any job would made, have made us better off. Yeah. Um, are we comfortable as of right now? I wouldn't say rich. I think rich is no. like a rich currency yeah, wise, like a billionaire. Yeah, like we're, that's no, what no, I would we're not say. rich. We're not rich in that way. But there are some I'd say upper mid class. There are, maybe? there are influencers out there that are making a ton, a ton a lot of more than money. Us. A lot more than us. There are some that show it off. And there's some that don't, there's some, there's one influencer that I was, I, when I, she was on that Forbes, uh, 30 under 30, I think, or f for influencers or for social media. And when I saw how much she made, I was like, oh my God, makes sense. But I never would have guessed it. Like i never no. would have guessed that she made that much money and you would never know. But there's some influencers where I saw, I was like, oh, like they only make that much, but they're showing you off their, uh, G wagons, their, their mansions yeah. and this, and you know, Ugh. so there's different sides of it. Um, and I think it's like, there's influencers that they're buying Chanel, Louis Vuitton, they're buying Prada and every video and that's all they wear. Um, our business manager told me I to not do that. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't, that's not like really something I want in life. Well, so. I think too, a lot of the, if you can live a debt free life, like besides our house loan, mm -hmm. which we just took out, we have no debt, yeah. which I think is like, that was like my biggest goal because mm -hmm. my whole life I've lived in debt. Yeah. Just crazy credit card debt, just mm -hmm. crippling actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just kept racking it up. Like I'll get to it. We'll get it later. And then it just kept spiraling out of control, but um, no debt. And I think that's besides our house loan, which is like a, it's like an orchestrated yeah. debt. And then to but, the other side of feeling rich, I feel like there's a ton of influencers or people on social media that have, millions and millions of dollars but maybe they're not feeling rich inside like you were saying like that happiness yeah. you know uh, trying to always be fulfilled like even even they look at other instagram people mm -hmm. or like influencers and are like oh man like you know i i have all this but oh, i wish i had a wife like that or i wish i had a husband like that oh, i wish i had kids you yeah. know what i mean so there's always gonna be if you can be in here first everything else will kind of work out, but. And I've seen firsthand, like I've followed other influencers where I'm like, oh my God, they have the perfect life. Their content was so happy. They're great couple wise. And then it's like, they're no longer together. They're separated or they broke up. And you know, people put so much pressure on young couples as well. Cause I've seen that too. I saw there's this young girl who her and her boyfriend made content together and young like you know i don't know if they would ever gotten married or whatnot but like they broke up and every comment was like love doesn't exist love doesn't exist anymore i'm mm. gonna you know and it's like you can't put that on a young couple you know in, in yeah. the power of social media because everyone you only see the good you mostly see the good side and things so um i think as a person who maybe 
might not have a following or are you are big and following influencers and stuff like you can't compare yourself because you know as we've seen on this podcast i've had some bad days and you know as have I, I. and we as, all have our bad days we all have bad days no one's perfect you know um even if you're following your mom on facebook your mom on facebook your grandma on facebook what are they sharing the best parts of their days you know mm-hmm. my mom's always sharing like the best parts of her days of you know being a grandma but you know she's not sharing the bad side yeah. so everyone does that so especially someone with a following you know you just have to really be mindful of how you take their content and i try to show i try my best to show both sides yeah. um or maybe not talk about it like i feel like a lot of people are like is jag is jagger a good baby is he fussy is how's he sleeping at night you're not sharing how he sleeps it's like yeah, he's, he's, he's a good baby, but yeah, he cries. Yes, he's fussy. I just asked, I'm like, is he crying now? Like, you know, yes, he's he's not sleeping through the night. But then you see some influencer like, my child's doing this, my yeah. child's doing that. So I think it's just hard to to. And again, it comes back to in. the point of oversharing and sharing everything. And um, I think we do it tastefully and I think we share just enough and we share not just enough. So um, I think that's the continued path and uh, to keep our healthy relationship because uh we decided to spend the rest of our lives together and we work together all day and live together so we're together 24 7. good thing i'm obsessed with you (laughs) good thing i'm obsessed with you i am obsessed with you though (laughs) okay my foot fell asleep no no we're so grateful Um, we we both did that um no well i gotta be careful this shot i'm wearing these short he's wearing his short shorts i'm wearing my running short i ran this morning but um No, we're very grateful and we want to keep, again, putting more work out there so we can get more work and do more work and work together. And And being an influencer is a weird job and there's a lot of assumptions out there. Um, Maybe I'll start being an outfluencer and I'll start like (laughs) doing like crazy bashing reviews (laughs) reviews <laughs> you do that's kind of well <laughs> that'd be kind of different and i'm an outfluencer like i just get this stuff and just bash on well it. there's this new thing it's called de-influencing i like outfluencer You're, better it's like an out, outcast outfluencing is better but there's yeah. a whole new thing de-influence where yeah, you these girls are reviewing products or not girls just anyone I just, anyone just reviewing, picking apart <laughs> but they're they're giving their honest oh. review which you should have been doing from the beginning yeah. but they're yeah they're saying like yeah, you know what? I don't like this foundation. Yeah. Like that's this new thing, de-influencing. It's a new word. It's a new thing going around. Yeah. Well, actually, um, I kind of, if if I look up a product mm-hmm. online, I kind of- I want of, some negative reviews. Yeah, I want like, I want the pros and the cons, right? 100%. Because there are to everything. So I think that's important. So maybe I'll start doing that. I'm so hungry. Can you hear my stomach? Yeah, I heard it. It was growling. Um, but yeah, no, I I think that's Jagger's crying. crying. Yeah, I think, I think Jagger's crying. Um, so yeah, let's just- say being an influencer is a crazy job it's one that we're so grateful to have and you know there's some bad influencers out there but there's also some just bad people everywhere so and there's just some outfluencers in there <laughs> and we're gonna find them all so we want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today we hope you enjoyed today's uh podcast and we'll see you next time on who wears the pants with josh and abby herbert bye-bye bye <laughs>